Hello everyone and welcome back to my video. The International Maritime Organization, EMO, is a specialized agency of the United Nations. It acts like the global referee and rulemaker for shipping, ensuring that ships around the world operate safely, securely, and without harming the environment. Think of the EMO as the brain of the global maritime industry. It plans the rules and policies that all countries and shipping companies follow. How does EMO work? The EMO itself doesn't own ships or ports or enforce laws. Instead, it creates the rules and provides a framework that countries and shipping companies must follow. Here's how the EMO system works. Step 1. Identifying problems countries, shipping companies, or maritime experts might identify a problem, like oil spills, ship collisions, or greenhouse gas emissions. Step 2. Developing rules The EMO discusses these issues and creates rules to solve them. These rules are turned into international agreements known as conventions, protocols, codes, recommendations, and guidelines, the five main instruments of the EMO. Step 3. Adoption by countries Each country agrees to adopt the IMO's rules into their national laws. Once they sign, it's their job to ensure their ships and ports follow these rules. What are the five main instruments of EMO? The EMO uses these five tools to control the maritime industry. 1. Conventions 1. These are the main agreements or treaties created by EMO. 2. Example The Solis Convention, Safety of Life at Sea, which ensures ships are built and operated safely. 3. Once a country signs a convention, they must follow its rules. 2. Protocols 1. Protocols are like updates or amendments to conventions. 1. They fix or improve the original conventions. 2. Example. The 1978 MARPOL Protocol updated pollution rules to prevent oil spills more effectively. 3. Codes. 1. Codes are detailed technical rules related to specific topics. 2. Example. The ISM Code, International Safety Management ensures ships operate safely and protect the environment. 4. Recommendations 1. These are guidelines that aren't legally binding but suggest best practices. 2. Example Guidelines on reducing greenhouse gas emissions from ships. 5. Guidelines 1. These provide specific advice to help countries or shipping companies implement conventions or codes. 2. Example Guidelines on Fatigue Management for Seafarers What areas does EMO control? The IMO's rules cover three key areas. 1. Safety of ships and crew. 1. Ensures ships are built and operated to protect lives at sea. 2. Examples. Solis Convention and STCW, Standards for Training, Certification, and Watchkeeping, for seafarer training. 2. Protecting the Marine Environment. 1. Prevents pollution from ships and protects marine life. 2. Example. The MARPOL Convention, which bans dumping oil or garbage into the sea. 3. Fair and secure operations. 1. Prevents unfair trade practices and ensures global security at sea. 2. Examples. ISPS Code, Security Measures, and Guidelines Against Piracy. How does EMO enforce these rules? The EMO doesn't enforce rules directly. Instead, it relies on three mechanisms. 1. Flag states. 1. Every ship flies the flag of a country, its home country. 1. This country must ensure the ship follows EMO rules. 2. Port states. 1. When a ship enters a port, the local authorities inspect it for compliance with EMO regulations. 1. If the ship violates rules, it can be fined or detained. 3. Classification societies. 1. Independent organizations like Lloyd's register inspect and certify ships to ensure they meet EMO standards. Why are IMO's rules important for beginners? Let's understand through simple examples. 1. Conventions. The Solis Convention ensures your ship has enough lifeboats and fire extinguishers so you are safe on board. 2. Protocols. Updates to MARPOL mean you won't accidentally pollute the sea, keeping the environment safe for marine life. 3. Codes. 
The ISM code ensures your ship has a proper maintenance plan, so you don't face mechanical failures during your voyage. 4. Recommendations. EMO recommends fatigue management plans, so you don't feel overworked or unsafe. 5. Guidelines. Guidelines help your ship comply with new rules like reducing emissions. Interactive example Imagine you're the captain of a ship traveling between different countries. Without EMO. 1. One country might demand extra safety gear, while another has no rules. 2. Some ships might dump oil into the sea, while others follow strict rules. 2. This chaos would make sailing unsafe and unfair. With EMO. 1. All countries follow the same rules, conventions like SOLAS and MARPOL. 2. Ships are safer, the seas are cleaner, and you know exactly what to expect. How can you benefit from EMO rules? 1. As seafarers, EMO ensures your safety with proper training, STCW, and safe working conditions. 2. As global citizens, EMO protects the oceans from pollution, so future generations can enjoy clean seas. 3. As professionals, EMO gives you a standardized system, making it easier to work on any ship worldwide. Wishing you smooth sailing in your learning journey and career at sea. For more videos, subscribe Sailor360 and stay connected.